no more concern than it would be to note that uh, George Bush, Jack Kemp, Bob Dole, and other people are interested in this country. In other words, General uh, in Reilly, our, our, former, our defense minister in Reilly, is a logical political entity in the Philippines. Uh, obviously, he came together with Mrs. Aquino in that weekend of revolution. I think she's done a remarkable job, as has he, really, in melding together uh, people that came from very uh, disparate sides of the spectrum. Uh, on the matter of foreign aid, the Democrats under David Obey, a, an acknowledged liberal, wants to cut foreign aid by as much as possibly 50 percent. Yet the Reagan administration continues to come on strong behind foreign aid. Uh, how do you explain this when you're supposed to be a member of a conservative administration, that we would be expending so much funds in the direction of foreign aid? Well, our, our foreign assistance now is essentially uh, assistance that helps people militarily and economically in ways that help us. It's not a gift. It's a part of our foreign policy. It's a part of our national security. Uh, clearly, if we're to have uh, the ability to be a player in the Middle East, in Africa, in Asia, or what have you, we have to have these resources. And I regret that the administration is not getting as much money as they need, because I think there will be shortages and some diplomatic opportunities that we'll miss. Uh, what about in the instance, say, of a country like Zimbabwe, where you have oppression engineered by Robert Mugabe, whom in the eyes of many people has turned out to be a real bad apple, particularly by what he, reason of what he's doing to Joshua Nkomo, his formidable, a one-time formidable political adversary? Do you think we ought to be expending, what, about $50 million a year on Zimbabwe? I think it's arguable, and it will be argued every year, and it is $50 million. You know, the foreign aid question boils down to Israel, Egypt, the base rights in the Philippines, Greece, Turkey, and Spain, uh, that's where the money is. Now, there, there are these issues each year about Zimbabwe and, and other small situations, and then we will decide them one way or another, but that won't really get us over the hard nut that you were discussing with, with the OB cuts. Let me take you back to your position on the Saudis and whether or not they should have received $350 million in military aid which was cut back by about $100 million because of the removal of the stingers so as to make this more palatable to the Congress. This is what you had to say about aid, uh, military aid to, to the Saudis. We cannot undermine our relationship with our principal friend in the Gulf now and expect to suddenly rebuild it later. We will have uh, sent a signal to the moderate Arab states we cannot be relied upon to bring off their defensive needs. That aid was transferred and it was a sale it wasn't really yes, aid. It, was it was a, a sale. military sale that's right now are you satisfied with the the the, con the condition of the relationship between the united states and its arab friends arab moderate friends well it's not uh, a relationship that is very strong All the point i was making is that we were about to make it non-existent we have prevented that we're moving ahead now with the saudis with the jordanians with others to try to fashion what we can of a Middle East policy that might still lead to peace of those Arab states with Israel. That's where we're headed. Senator, in what area do you disagree with Ronald Reagan's foreign policy in a substantial